Everyone is freaking out right now because they heard that Ledger got hacked. I want to clear some stuff up real quick. There are a lot of other videos on YouTube that will give you a very drawn out explanation of what happened, but in this one, I'm just going to make a few things clear. Before I begin, I want to explain the purpose of a cold wallet, also known as a hardware wallet. It's referred to as cold because it's offline, and you're only supposed to connect it when you send stuff to it for long-term storage, or if you want to get something out and cash out through an exchange. But essentially, your transactions should be very minimal, and you should only interact with a cold wallet when you're putting something in there for long-term storage. In fact, that's exactly why people use them, because that's what makes it so safe. So to make a long story short, the best practice for a cold wallet is just simply never to use it. Just put stuff on it and forget about it. Do not ever interact with websites or anything with a cold wallet. If you need to interact with a website, then you can always have a smaller wallet on the side, like a, even a software wallet, and just do what you need, but do not interact with your main wallet ever. So with that being said, let's talk about what just happened. On December 14th, Ledger officially tweeted that they have identified and removed a malicious version of the Ledger Connect Kit. A Connect Kit is what allows your Ledger to interact with what's known as dApps, also known as decentralized applications. It also essentially allows you to connect your wallet to a website. Here is a quick example of what it looks like when you are connecting your ledger to a third-party website. So that brings me to the first point I want to make in this video. If you do not interact with dApps, then you have nothing to worry about as far as right now. If you are using your ledger cold wallet as a cold wallet, you should have nothing to worry about. If you do use your Ledger wallet to connect to these websites or dApps, then make sure your software is fully up to date. According to Ledger, the Connect Kit version 118 is safe to use as of right now. But of course, just to be safe, you should learn a lesson from this and never interact with decentralized apps or websites with your main cold wallet. According to Ledger, the hack involved rerouting funds to a hacker's wallet. Which means if you have not already lost any crypto, you should be fine. The malicious code that was found was only live for about 5 hours and has already been removed. And in case you're wondering how this happened, well apparently an ex-Ledger employee was fished. Which of course is a bit ironic since a cybersecurity expert working for Ledger probably should know how not to get fished. A lot of people are already wanting to move away from Ledger because of this, but in my opinion, like I said in this video like five times, if you're using your cold wallet properly, this won't even affect you. But of course, if you think that you have exposed yourself, especially your seed phrase, then switch wallets because it's just not worth the risk. If you want more information on this, then check out the other videos on YouTube, or just go to Ledger's Twitter account and they have a whole timeline on what happened. There is also the official response from the CEO, which I will link to in the video description. Thank you for watching this video, I hope this helps you. Good luck, stay safe, keep your cold wallet cold.